Hey guys, what's up? It's Alexander Williamson here with the Secret History Living Inside Your Aquarium. Long name, I know. Uh, so this is more of a vlog style post today leading up to the unboxing, which you can check out either later tonight or tomorrow. I'll post that. But it's been a process to get a hold of these shrimp. And this is the, the fun leading up to the shrimp that I got from uh, Flip Aquatics. By no fault of Rob's, in fact, I think someone from his company called and helped hope to remedy the system, but in the long run, it actually got a little confusing. So let me just give you a quick rundown of what's happened. So basically, first off, uh, all within this year, so the last four months, since we have a new uh, post route, uh, my area, as you'll see, you have to walk up some hills and stuff and deliver to each house. It's There's not like a centralized area or doorstep. My doorstep is viewable by uh, a busy street down there and also... Uh, sometimes the post people leave boxes on the railing for some crazy reason with live animals in it on a day with a breeze. So, earlier this year, they delivered a overnight package of fish, <clears throat> but they delivered it, uh, it was supposed to be overnight, got to Seattle, got to the local neighborhood hub a mile from me, and then it sat there for two days lost essentially before I tracked it down and finally was able to get an answer then I found out about this little non-public annex hub thing that that's there so moving on from there Lucas Brett sent me some awesome that's LRB aquatics check them out rad dude sent me some awesome shrimp uh, and when I talked to the uh, postman he was on the route, and it said that my shrimp had arrived. Well, my shrimp had not arrived, and I had to run around the neighborhood trying to figure out where they went. He said, oh, I'm sorry, I delivered them to the wrong house. Another problem. So this time, the postman uh, delivers the shrimp half to the right house, half to the wrong house. So it started out, I see that they're at the annex. I see that they should be on the truck out to my house right now, and they're not. And I know they're going to sit there another 24 hours, if not get lost, until tomorrow. Uh, and lost indefinitely, knowing the way things have gone around here. So, someone from Flip Aquatics, meanwhile, must have called and said, Hey, there's live stuff in that shipment. Get it out of there, or whatever. I don't know. Someone called them and said, Get it out of there. Could have been the post office. I'm going to say it's probably someone at Flip, because they're pretty on the ball with stuff. So, I get down to the... Uh, seedy part of the neighborhood where uh, <laughs> the post uh, annex is, they don't have the packages. I get home, they're not at my door. So I run down, I find the mailman a few blocks away, I say, where are the packages? He says, well, uh, I put one in your carport underneath everything, just hit it, because I know you're worried about theft. Okay, cool. And the other one, I couldn't remember if this time was wrong or last time was wrong or your address was wrong when I delivered fish to the wrong person. So I put the other package at their house. Thanks, dude. So that's how uh, this runaround started today. But I've got the shrimp. They're in my house. They're safe. And you're about to see that. So this is a vlog. If you want to see the actual shrimp, more of that stuff, uh, check in later. But here we go. All right. Take it easy, guys. And watch this. All right, so here is the ongoing saga when I'm trying to get uh, something basically delivered. So Flip has very kindly um, sent me uh, some shrimp. I've purchased some shrimp from them uh, myself, and then I've also um, used a credit that he gave me. And so we've got uh, Golden Bees, uh, the Snow Whites, uh, five crystal red shrimp, and then the starter pack, which is 15 other shrimp. So, very kind of Flip Aquatics. Check them out. Their Caradina shrimp are legit. Now he's going into nano fish and other stuff like that. So, also cool. Um, and I'm going to pass on info to you guys. Now, the the thing that happened, happened with uh, Lucas Bretz was he sent me uh, some shrimp, some Neo Caradina, and basically, uh, this same postal office 
delivered it to the wrong house. So I live in this general area. There's like a big complex of houses up this alley. But I live in this area. And this, if you look at, let's see if it'll let me zoom out, in, in the size of all of Seattle. So it comes all the way from Ohio, makes it all the way here. This is the size of Seattle. Seattle as a city is like this size where my hand is going or where the little clicker is going around. And yet it makes it here at nine in the morning. And now they're telling me it can't be delivered. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. So 10, 12 blocks away. Not even 12. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight blocks away, something like that. And it arrived at nine in the morning. Now it's going to sit overnight. Now they do have an indoor facility, but I'm going to go see if I can do anything about that and get my package uh, right now. So we're going to go down there and see what's up. They're both supposedly at the shipping station. They don't have a phone number you can call that's publicly listed because they're an annex. But I'm going to go figure it out because by no fault of flips, uh, this is just how things are rolling. And I've had this happen now every time I've had live fish sent to me almost. All but one time I've had some sort of hiccup because of the U.S. Post Office. So... Something weird about my neighborhood. Let's go figure this out. All right, a quick word about where I live. I live on a street where basically all these houses all the way up, we live on a cool community garden patch, which used to be a road, but it was too steep, so they decided not to make it a road. But we live right off of it, as do a few dozen houses going up the hill, and then there's another tier of it. So the mailmen actually still have to deliver the mail up to people's houses, which has caused a lot of shaking. I mean, it's rough for the mailman, don't get me wrong, but it's caused a lot of shaking also uh, to the livestock. So let's just go straight down to, uh, let's go down to the, um, the annex and see what we can get and demand our shrimp. All right, we'll see you at the annex. All right, so it's a beautiful day in Seattle. Luckily, the weather is, it says that it is going to be 68 to 74 degrees. But I just wanted to share on my drive to the post office, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six with the bus, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is just like normal Seattle neighborhood. And we have... RVs with people living in them everywhere because the rent is too damn high and uh, It's gotten kind of crazy. I, I have to admit that uh, Not that I love all the RVs and I mean there's an element of crime and stuff that comes with some of that but uh, And that's another reason why I'd rather just pick up my packages, but also uh, we have thousands of homeless people here now and uh Sometime on one of our little outings, I will show you what a typical corner downtown looks like um, with crazy, just insane amounts of um, tents up in the middle of a, a city block, which is pretty crazy. But back to the shrimp. Let's figure this out. Um, but as you can see, we're still driving, more RVs, blah, 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 happy little Happy little family part of town. It's a, it's a little industrial, but, you know, cute little houses. Always trucks, so you can't do anything about that. But let me get back to driving. Uh, I just wanted to share that with y'all. All right, so now we are coming up on the post office. More RVs, more shopping carts, heroin needles, motorcycles, yada, yada, yada. It's Seattle. Get over it. Okay. And more RVs everywhere. Look at all the RVs. So, uh, now we're going to try to see if we can actually get uh, the live shrimp. Luckily, it's perfect temperature outside. Uh, I did want to mention, though, the only reason I film the RVs and stuff uh, in this vlog, I have nothing against a lot of the people. I do have a lot against some of the people. Uh, my truck getting broken into twice this month. 
they stole the little spider net thing that goes over the back of the truck that was like that was all I needed uh, really in there everything else was like pop bottles and receipts and then uh, also want to mention that uh, the shooting that happened last week where I was getting shot at uh, well in the way of someone else getting shot at was our friendly homeless community and or the drug dealers involved with supplying them slash preying on them just wanted to just wanted to talk about that real quick all right let's go get the shrimp all right guys that was a fun run around so basically we're here they don't have them here and i was like what happened we sent them to our other facility okay that's farther from my house but they have an afternoon run and so they thought it was shrimp bait for fishing i guess and they didn't want it stinking up their place and so hopefully i don't know now i gotta go back to the house and hopefully it's coming sooner than later <sighs> here we go all right so i see the mail truck down the street and it's the guy who delivered my fish last time from lucas to the house up this hill and around the corner from my house. So now we have to try to catch Dudley Do wrong, or Dudley Deliver wrong, I suppose, and see if he has my fish. All right, caught up with the mailman. Here's the story. He delivered one package to my house, one to the one he delivered it at before, which was up the block, which I went and got again. And basically, I mean, this is really clear live animals or critters live animals um but yeah so this is really clear good job flip and uh essentially uh he couldn't remember if he had messed up delivering last time when he screwed up the fish order if he had sent it to the right house or that i had said something about the wrong address so even though they both have the correct address on them he delivered one to the same house as before and one to this address and he's it seems like a nice guy and he's all sweaty all tired and everything it's a hot day today it's actually it feels like it's gonna be more like 75 so in all your mail suit regalia i you know whatever so I feel bad to complain, but I mean, that could have been really bad, so might be complaining. I don't know. Second time's not a good sign. Well, third time, actually, that, that fish have either been left or delivered to the wrong house. So, all right. Well, I got them now. Going to get these inside, get them unboxed. I'm really excited. Flip Aquatics. The saga continues.